welcome to my site for diaries this is supportive pages series of a dot net a uh, today's topic today uh, we are going to see what are action filters before starting let me introduce myself i am jitendra ghanekar i am a site for 10.net certified developer i am a site for architect and consultant working in mumbai so let's see uh, what we are going to see in this video the preview of the video what are the different types of filters we, we will see uh, what are action filters example of action filters uh, how we will see how we will create a custom action filters and we will see at the end that what are the business use case where we will need the uh, action filters okay so let's start uh, today's video so let's see what are the different types of filters what are filters and what are the different types of uh, filters many times we need to perform some action before or after particular action to achieve this sp.net mvc provide pre and post action which is called as a filters so basically in the site for mvc we have a controller actions but there might be a some logic or some code you might need to perform before that controller action get executed or uh, you might have to perform some logic after the controller logic get executed so how to do that so to to perform these activities so mvc provides sp.net mvc provides us filters okay so filters are nothing but some some classes some actions which which or some methods which can get executed uh, before or after the uh, uh, controller action get executed okay those are called as the filters so what are the different types of uh, filters first we have a uh, action filter action filters are used to implement logic that get executed before and after a controller action executes it implements the i action filter attributes okay so basically whatever the action whatever the code or logic which we need to perform before and after a controller action to, that is called as the action filters and it implement i action uh, filter that is the interface which get into, uh, implemented in the action filters authorization filters authorization filters are used to implement authentication and authorization for controller action so authorization say there might be some logic which will need a only authenticate authenticated user to access that okay so in that case you can use authorization filter for authorization filters it implements i authorization filter attribute then you have a result filter the so result filter contains logic that is executed before and after a view result is executed so once action uh, is executed control action is executed and you have the view result okay so before executing the view result your control action get executed and before executing the view result you need to perform any logic or after the your result is executed you need to perform any logic in that case result filters are used it implements i result filter attribute so i result filter is the interface which is used for a result filter then you have a exception filters you can use an exception filter to handle errors raised by either your controller actions or controller action result you and you also can use exception filters to log errors okay so basically exception filters are used to log any error so it is used for a error handling it implements the i exception filter attribute okay so these are the four uh, types of uh, filters in mvc we will see uh, action filters in detail let's see action filters as already discussed what are action filters action filters executes before and after an action method executes action filter attributes can be applied to an individual action method or a, to a controller so in a controller you can have a multiple methods like multiple action methods so this uh, action filters can be applied in for the individual action method as well as if you can apply you can apply it at the controller level so you can give it to the controller so if that action is applied on the controller so that will get executed for all the actions okay when an action filter is applied to a controller it will be applied to all the controllers action methods so there are some default action filters uh, first is the output cache this action filter caches the output 
of a controller action for a specified amount of a type so it is used for a caching purpose so if you want to cache the output which is given by the controller for a specified for a specified for a period of a time then output cache can, uh, attribute can be used then you have a handle error so this action filter handles error raised when a controller action get executed if there is any error raised then the uh, handle error will get executed then you have a authorize this action filters enables you to restrict access to a particular user or a role so there is some method which you want to uh, want to have some restriction to the sub users then you can use the authorize uh, attribute okay so let's see uh, this is my uh, controller uh, methods okay action methods here so there is a index method here okay and it has a, 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 a handle error attribute okay so this handle ad, error attribute what it does is this action filter will handle the error raised in this action the index action if there is any error raised that will get handled here then you have output cache giving a duration as a 100 milliseconds so uh, output cache will be a uh, hold for the, that period of a time okay so output cache is uh, this is the action filter cache is the output of a controller action for a specified, um, specified amount of a time then you have authorized there are two authorized methods one is authorized is normal authorized where it will get uh, if the user is authorized then only uh, it will get executed this about index method in case of uh, contact it will get authorized only for the admin user so if that you add a user is the admin then only this contact will get executed so authorized is the action filter enables you to restrict access to a particular user or a role so this is how you will use the action filters you can add these are the default action filters which you can add on the top of your action method if you add it in the, on the at the top of your controller then then it will be applied for all the methods in that uh, uh, controller okay now next topic is a create a custom action filters okay if you want to create a custom action filters so what do you will be doing action filter attribute action filter attribute this is the base class okay which implements both i action filter uh, interface and i result filter uh, filter interface and it inherits from the filter class so this action filter attribute is the base class which you need to use if you want to customize any action uh, any action okay you want to use any action cast a custom action filter then you have to use action filter attribute as your base class which we which holds the which has the uh, the uh, methods which we need to uh, execute okay so what are those methods which you you should when you apply this action filter method you, you should be overriding it okay the first method is the on action executing as name suggests this method is called before a controller action is executed so on action executing is a before is method is called when before a controller action is get executed then you have on action executed so this method is called after a controller action is executed okay so after the controller action is executed then it will call on action executed method then we have a on result executing so this method is called before a controller action result is executed so before your control action result is executed it will call on result executing and then you have the last method on result executed this method is called after a controller action result is executed so after the controller action executed it will call on result executed so while uh, creating the custom action class when you will create a custom action class uh, action filter class in that first of all you have to uh, give uh, inherit the action filter attribute as a base class and then you can override these four methods as per your logic okay okay we will see now how this uh, that class is getting uh, created so uh, create an action filter okay if you observe this class okay this is the class definition okay if you see here i have given a name as a log action filter that is a new class which i have created and i have inherited the action filter attribute okay so action filter attribute is your base class which you want to uh, uh, inherit when you want to create a custom action filter okay here i am creating a custom action filter as a login log action filter and it is inheriting action filter attribute once you inherit the action filter attributes you can override the four methods which we have discussed in last slide okay so if you see the first method here it is 
overriding on action executing public override wide on action executing and look at the parameter it has a action executing context as a parameter okay so if you if you want to create a login uh, uh, action filter first of all you have to create the base filters okay you have to inherit the base filter and then you have to override the action meters okay so first is the on action executing then if you see the on action executed method that is also override here so over uh, if you see here the parameter as a action executed context now here a uh, context is executed context is a parameter and uh, on first method it is action executing context is a parameter similarly we have on result executing so at uh, before that uh, your result get executing executed you will get this uh, you will get this uh, this method will get called on result executing okay and if you see the parameter result executing context and then you have a last one that is on result executed and the parameter is a result executed context okay and now here is a method log method where i have written my logic okay so as per your requirement you can write that logic here so here uh, so let me uh, summarize what uh, you need to do so uh, if you want to customize any uh, uh, you have to create a custom action filters in that case first you create a class file okay and then you inherit the action filter attribute that is a base class so for this action filter attribute whatever the namespace is required that also you have to uh, uh, you, uh, you add it the top of it, uh, by writing using okay and then uh, you have to override your logic uh, override the method there are four methods you can override as per your logic you can override the methods like if you want to do anything in the on action executing to write that logic in on action executing in my example here i am logging the data i'm logging some information in the debug uh, debug mode okay so the debug uh, console so uh, i am writing it on all the methods and i have created a separate private method log where we are writing it uh, okay so this is how you will write the uh, uh, create the uh, action uh, custom action filter class okay and then once i execute this okay uh, before executing how to use that now on the home controller i want to use it on the index method so this is the index method on top of that i have added a log action filter as an attribute you see the square bracket that is how you will add it log action filter okay so what will happen now is whenever the index method will get executed this log action filters will first called okay and then there are four methods are there right that to, depending on the cycle that will call I mean the before the action it will do, uh, before action method will call and then the result execution and other things are getting called so this is how you will uh, apply the uh, uh, the custom filter okay so if i now execute it this this is i have executed on my visual studio then if you see the debug method i have added the logs in the debug method you will see the first is uh, log which is got created action filter log on action executing so first method is on action executing which get called then you have on action executed that is the second one on result executing that is the third one and the last one is here is on result executed so this is how in this sequence they if these methods will get called okay so this is how you will create a custom action filter okay so let me summarize again if you want to create a custom action filter you have to create a class okay you have to inherit the base class then you write your logic as per your business logic in those four methods uh, whatever the logic is whether it is on the on action executing or it is on the on action executed or result ex executing or on result executed depending on your business logic you write the logic and then apply that logic to whatever index so apply that attribute on whatever the method action method you want to use it right in my case i am using it on the index method so this is how you will create a custom action filters So now we will see what are the business use case where you might need to use the action filter. The first one is the authorization. Action filters can be used to enforce authorization rule such as checking whether a user is authenticated or whether they have the necessary permission to access a particular resource. All those three authorization action can be done in the action filter. So for the authorization purpose you can use the action filter. Second is the logging okay action filters can be used to log request or responses 
providing the valuable insight into how users are interacting with your application if there is any integration where you want to you, you want to see what is the request what is the response so those logging purpose you can use the uh, action filters third use case is the caching so if you want to apply any caching so action filters can be used to cache the responses which can significantly improve the performance of your application so if you want to improve the performance of your application and there is a valid uh, scenario where you can apply the output caching then you can use uh, these action filters for caching validation action filters can be used to validate input data such as ensuring that user inputs are valid and meet certain requirements so you have a two level of a, you can have a two level of a validation on your forms okay one is a client side and another is on this uh, server side for server side validation you can use action filters where you can validate the coming data whether it has a mandatory fields or not if there is any format which is different all those validations on data validations can be applied in the action filters error handling so action filters can be used to handle errors an exception that occurs during the execution of an action or a controller. If you want to do any error handling, then you can use the action filters. Auditing. Action filters can be used to audit a user action, such as a recording when the user logs in or performs a certain action with the application. So any auditing logic, auditing trail you want to capture, then you can use the auditing for action filters. Compression. Action filters can be used to compress the responses, reducing the amount of data that is transmitted over the network and improving the performance of your application. So, compression is one of the business use cases where you can think of using action filters. Okay, so we are done uh, today uh, for today's topic. If you like the video, please click on a like button, please share it with your friends and do provide your feedback uh, via the comment. Please do subscribe to the channel. There are many, I think 70 to 80 percent of uh, uh, viewers are not subscribed. So I will re I'm requesting you to subscribe to the channel. Click on a bell icon to get a latest update. I don't have any uh, uh, schedule. Okay. So I am uploading this video as per my convenience entire time. So please click on a bell icon so that you can get a notification whenever I will upload the uh, video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.